Hey, people. Anyways, hi everybody. I've missed you guys. It's been how long? Forever, ever, right? Thanks for being here. I know a lot of you have been in the chat since before I even hit live, so thank you for that. I put out a little poll ahead of time, and I'm going to look at it in one second, but I just want to say hi to everybody. Oh, look at you all here. 136. Smash the, smash the like for your girl if you missed AZ, or you get the dislike. If you're Alice and you have 95 accounts, you know, you can just use them all. It's fine. It's all engagement to me, right? <laughs> Thank you, Jennifer. Hi, everyone. Okay, before I get started, I just want to say my homegirl, Texas Ang Angie, I need to talk to you. Please DM me, okay? Texas Angie, please DM me. A little, little PSA, okay? Love you a long time. Let's figure... Let's, just, let's, let's get into it. All right, Alice. Alice, Alice did you... Did you um, take some time off this evening to, you know, oh, thanks for becoming a member, Brittany. Appreciate that. Um, Alice, did you take some time off? Because you know who I want to, you know who I would love to hear from? Oh, by the way, I have a special guest this evening. Um, you all, most of you know who she is. She's a pretty cool chick. Her name is Dina. Um, so I'm going to link her. I got to remember to link her YouTube channel after this too. Uh can't forget that because Dina is pretty cool. Dina is a victim of Alice. Many people are a victim of Alice. Alice, what's your deal, Alice? Alice, girl, do you know that a few of us <laughs> figured out you had over the course of just like a year alone, you've had like a hundred sock accounts? Like, why would you do that? I can't imagine having so much self hatred that I would just be like, oh, today I'm going to be a different person online and bother people and dox people and try to make their lives a little hell. Who does that? Who's Alice? Exactly. <laughs> Alice is, see, remember how, remember how I was telling you all that Steve McRae is a punk motherfucker. Steve McRae is a sorry son of a bitch. Remember that? Remember I was telling you all that? Well, Mr. Steve McRae. He has this culty little toolbox, right? But the culty little toolbox is off the hinges, right? Like if the thing's falling apart, he's got wing nuts over here, you know. He's got all he's got all these random tools that are just falling out of the, the culty toolbox, right? Because when you're a cult leader, you need people to do certain things. You need people to you needed people to enforce things. You need like an enforcer. Uh, <laughs> 
I'm such a goddamn troublemaker. You need an enforcer. You need somebody to aggravate the people you don't like. You need somebody like a roadhog to distract people. You you need there's all kinds of ingredients, right, into um like a successful little cult, right? Um, and sometimes if you can find people who are really not that bright, you know, you can get them to do crazy stuff for you. Don't be mad at me. I don't make the rules. You know what I'm saying? But anyways. <laughs> Uh, oh wait, holy hi, Holy Spackle says, I'm waiting for Alice's proof for six months later. You you can keep waiting, Holy Spackle, because there isn't any. Sorry to break it to you. Um, all right. So if you're if you're not on Twitter, because we all know Twitter is the armpit of the internet, and I stand by that. Twitter's Twitter is the armpit of the internet that does not wear deodorant. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's always a bunch of, and this is why, this is why I can't stand Twitter, right? I can't stand Twitter sometimes because you never know. It's so funny. You never know like who these little sock accounts are. Now, if you're not familiar with a sock account, it's when somebody makes an account to, you know, hide their real identity. And they just usually nine times out of 10, they troll people online. They cause problems. They infiltrate. They annoy. They ju- they're like a, they're like a, uh, you know, an annoyance, just an annoyance, and and that's what Alice does. Twenty four hours a day, seven days a week. She ain't get to. She don't. She even works on like Christmas and shit. She ain't got no paid holidays, you know. Like I'm pretty sure Wolf gets time and a half for all his time on Twitter, but I don't know about Alice though, because I don't know how they keep track of that shit. If she was on the clock, just saying, because there's just too many of them, you know, too many of them. Hi Kay, hi Janet. Okay, I'm so happy to see some creatives in the building. That's cool. Hey Debra, hi Debra. Thank you. Good to see you too, Debra. Thanks for coming. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks. No pay holidays, Kay Baxter. I'm saying, like, you know, and we all know Steve's cheap. He ain't paying her, right? <laughs> He'd be like, you need to work for free, and if you do. Get an hourly rate. You need to give it to my fundraiser for the for when I never sue Katie Joy. Okay, I need that money for Applebee's and shit. Right, the two for twenty. Come on, that dude is such a clown. Speaking of Alice, first of all, anyways, let me let me let me stop getting ahead of myself. We all know how I have a propensity to do that. Alice is an annoying wingnut from the culty toolbox, in my opinion. <laughs> Who hangs out on Twitter and aggravates the shit out of people. She's like a little, like, you know how, and, and I'm not even trying to, like, uh, no pun intended here, like, the little gnat, like, zzz, you just, like, get out of here, get it, go away. The thing is, you can block that annoying bug. You can just block them and be like, hey, enough's enough. But guess what happens? Another little annoying bug comes along. Um, in incognito, you know what I'm saying? Um, in disguise, pretending like they ain't Alice and shit when we all know it is, right? And this girl is so obvious. <laughs> she she lies so much. She's one of those people who lies so much, right? And yeah, I'm talking to you, Alice, and I know you're big mad about this stream, and you know what? I ain't done because this is just um, you know, one part of like a 95 part series. So, you know, you better uh be prepared. Okay, because because everybody's had enough of your shit. I, I help me understand, Alice. What is it? Why do you do this? Why do you annoy people? Why do you dox people? Why do you threaten to call people's works? Why do you do that for? Hmm? Why? Um. So she's from Twitter, and she's annoying. She's really not that bright because she lies so much she can't remember her own lies. If she lies so much, Stacy Bobbles, Stacy Bobbles knows this girl lies so much she can't keep up. She'll be like, I'm not that account. And then she'll say a week later, she is that account. It's like, which one is it? Which one is it, Alice? Alice, have you been dipping into the Mad Hatter's stash? Like, what are you doing? All that lead or some shit. I don't know, Stacy, right? He's now hiring someone to do all his art for free. Oh, of course. lovely i know because he deserves free art right so so i take it he needs some he needs a new cheshire because didn't she like make all the stuff for his channel and you know he he doesn't know how to do stuff like that right okay sure yeah stacy i know come on you know stacy you know colty mccultus in here 
Kim S., hey, girl, get you some bourbon street steak from Applebee's. Get you a blooming onion or some shit, Steve. <laughs> so you can, so when you breathe all up on your date and you go to take selfies with her with your hot onion breath <laughs> and your bourbon steak ass breath. Oh, so you get your ass beat on the way out. Come back and do it again tomorrow, right, Steve? Anyways, he's a clown. And you know who else knows that Steve's a clown? Even though, even though. Alice resides in his culty toolbox because she's just desperate for some kind of belonging, attention, whatever, right? She went from talking mad shit about Steve, which I'm going to show you, to literally being his number one wing nut. Tell me how that makes sense. Also, Alice has a million different names, okay? She makes all the sock accounts like I told you. But majority of us just call her Alice because if we had to, like, keep up with her new name the blue and onion dollar i'm sad i'm serious the blue and onion <laughs> if we had to keep up with her identities um that would be too difficult so it's just alice okay you know karma's enabler i think was her first name from what i understand anyways and what she did is she tried to get katie joy she tried to get on katie joy's good side and katie joy was like why are you acting like you didn't start the cult for Ooh, so that happened then she hated katie joy and then she hated erin and then that now she likes her i mean the girl is just all over the map hey emory uh love you queen oh thank you love you too long time emory thanks for coming by glad you're here um so anyways if you guys don't have twitter you're smart because you know it's just a really annoying thing that goes on on twitter um I just can't understand for the life of me. I can't understand spending all day, every day, making sock accounts. This girl gets so into her sock account. I don't even know what to call it. Her sock account uh, personalities, if you will, that she <laughs> interacts with herself as herself, thinking that nobody will notice that it's herself. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, she will, like, if she don't have no backup, she'll just make backup. You know what I mean? It's pretty pathetic. And then, and then, and then, and then she, she, she does all this dirt. You know, she doxes people. She thinks she's smart, too. That's the sad part. Like, for example, Shen's um, panty liner has been annoyed. She's one of the many people, okay, who have been annoyed by Alice for I don't know how long, right? She sent me proof that Alice doxed her. Um, I've seen that. You know what I'm saying? So she'll find your old Instagram. She'll find this. She'll find that. And she spends all this time doing this. Like, she did it to me, too. Like, for she didn't dox me like she did to Shen's. I mean, I already been doxed. What the fuck are you going to do? You know, I'm still waiting for Old Hog to show up. I got you say hello to my little friend. You know what I mean? He never came. Alice, you know, I mean... You can come if you want. We can have tea time. I'm just saying anything. You know, drink me. You know, Alice. <laughs> you can get little. Okay, so yeah. So she does that. She she see. I've told you all a million times. If you've been around, then you know this. I used to be a part of Ma the Masshole Report, right? And I used to write blogs. Everyone knows this, but here comes Alice out of left field. Like I found some of your old blogs. Like, okay, and like you're annoying. Go away. Like I said, annoying ass Nat, right? But you can block her. She'll just pop up with 10 other people pretending like it ain't her. You know what I mean? She's whack. Alice, you whack. You know that? You need to stop. You need to cut the shit. Alice, if you're here, Alice, if you're here, why don't you come up and tell me something about myself? Hmm? And I saw um, somebody sent me something before this. Like, oh, my stalker has bad hair. Now, I, know, I, I don't know who she's talking about because it clearly ain't me. You know what I'm saying? nobody alice where's your proof alice where is your proof that anybody has ever doxxed you because i've never seen it never never alice is evil absolutely oh wait where did stacy's thing go hold on sorry guys i'm a little rusty here stacy says she's here and she says you'll regret this hey alice fuck yourself all right um, I'm not the one, okay? Not today, not tomorrow, not yesterday. So you can have fun. If you're here, Alice, click the link. Click the link, Alice. Click the link. You won't do it, though, because you bitch me. You'll just make 10 sock accounts and run your little mouth because that's what you do because you're annoying, you're stupid, and you literally are pathetic. Um, oh, I think my special guest is here. Hey, special guest, can you give me a little wave in the back? 
just make sure you're not like a peen. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I see you. All right. All right. You, if you want to use the camera, you can. If not, that's fine too. Probably won't stay on camera. That's fine. You break it up a little bit. Guys, is she is she frozen for you or just me? Is Dina frozen on your end? Uh oh. Dina, <laughs> you're stuck. <laughs> Dina's stuck with the shock face. <laughs> oh, I knocked something over. <laughs> we'll leave it to Diva. All right, I'm gonna kick her out and then she can come back because I don't want to leave the homegirl stuck like this. <laughs> All right, let me take her down. Oh, is this her? Is she back? Okay. There we go. There you are. <laughs> Sorry. No, I'm having massive issues with my phone. So I think if I go off camera and I like set it down, I can... but, um, okay. Yeah. For some reason, my phone is flashing out really bad right now, but I'm at the park too. Cause that's like the only piece I can get. Oh boy right now or not but which is fine i don't care but um yeah i had a lot to say but i think i might have to go off camera only because yeah my phone is acting really weird right now okay yeah sure. i also look homeless you look so beautiful which is really messed up you know <laughs> i just brushed my hair today i mean if you ever follow me on instagram you, you see i live like a hot mess so whatever <laughs> listen i live in florida and after um you know wake and I look like crap at the end of the day. <laughs> it, I could, I would melt. I would never make it in Florida ever. I get angry when I'm hot, so like I wouldn't do good there. <laughs> I would not do good there. But, and there's my boy. Unless people want to look at him, we can talk while we look at Bjorn. I'm oh, I can't hear you. You're a your boys, oh, your boys in the back. Hey, why don't you try shutting oh, the yeah, camera well, and see if it works better? Because you you sound like a robot yeah, girl. All right. I know sometimes that helps. If you learn, then I will do that. But there we go. That's a little better so far, anyways. Um, so, Dina. Why don't you uh, listen? I'm gonna link your video after the one you made about Alice. Like I could sense your frustration, and I know this has been going on like a long time. So um, I am gonna share your video. But why don't you just briefly tell everybody your how you how you came across Alice to begin with, if you don't mind? Sure. Okay. So um, back when I well, not when I first started my channel, but there was a point in time when. Um, and I have receipts for all this. I just, I haven't, I, I'm dealing with other issues with her. So hello, <laughs> are you there? <laughs> I heard you say I, I'm dealing with other issues and I didn't hear anything after that. Uh, Dina, Dina, can you hear me? <laughs> okay, I don't know what to do. All right, is this Alice? Alice, are you pink popsicle today? You, you crazy little wing nut. Why don't you come up here? You got you got service, Alice, right? Why don't you come up? Tell me something. Tell me why you do what you do. Tell me where your proof is about you being doxxed. They don't exist. I know. Um, Dina, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened here, Dina. I don't know what Alice is saying. Listen, this girl is just nuts, dude. Set you up. <laughs> oh my god. It's always someone else's fault, right? It, she's one of those people like, it ain't me. Anyways, while we're waiting for Dina here to um, find some Wi-Fi, 
let me um share with you some things here. Might as well do that first, right? I was gonna save that for last, but whatever. Okay, so let's see which one I want to show first. Maybe this one. All right. Okay. This is this is a good one. I appreciate. I don't know if the person who sent it to me wants me to say who who sent it or whatever. So I'll just keep my mouth shut. But anyways, this one here, gotta love it, right? This is this is the typical Alice account, as you can see, Alice in Wonderland. She definitely lives in Wonderland. She's definitely uh, you know, way out there, dude. She's smoking the hookah, playing with the lead hats. I mean, she's a goddamn mess. Anyways, it says, oh, I am not Karma's enabler. You false reporting to Twitter, be dealt with. Ooh, I don't have an Android for one. I'm not Karma's enabler, along with many other lies you sent them. Have a good day. Well, lest we forget, hey? Lest we forget, Alice. Let me um bring up another little thing for you here. This is how dumb she is. <laughs> is this it? I can't see. That's why my face is all like, oh, here it is. Okay, super close to the screen. <laughs> Queen B. Queen B. This is Alice, right? Queen B's Alice. Do I need to do a full review of her mentioning me like I did with Shen's? It's on my car Karma's Enabler. <gasps> but I thought you weren't Karma's Enabler. Did you forget to drink your potion at you dummy. Which one is it? Literally, which one is it? She ain't blocked on. How would you be? Alice, you ain't blocked on StreamYard. Alice, Alice, why would you be blocked on StreamYard? You ain't never tried to come up here. I never had a problem with you. So how would you be blocked on StreamYard? You're such a liar, Alice. You're such a liar. I don't have you blocked. Actually, I can see it. If I can see you, you're not blocked. Idiot. Anyways. Uh, no, if you can hear me, I'm so sorry. I had like a technical difficulty there. Oh, that's all right. That's all right. I'm glad you're back. Thanks for coming back. I'm in the middle of the boondock. It's not like I'm not Hello? <laughs> So Dina. sorry that I interrupted your stream like that. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you so, might hear traffic sounds for like one second. Okay. <laughs> they might hear traffic sounds and then she's gone. Oh, man. Pink Popsicle. You're not blocked you derpy mcgee you're a liar you're just you're just suffering from lionitis you know what i'm saying that's all it is furthermore you know how easy it is to um go incognito on StreamYard and just log in you're such a liar dude you're you're i smell pussy <laughs> and her name's alice and she's too scared alice alice click the link alice Click the link, Alice. Come on. You have so much to say on Twitter. Just click the link. Click it. How, how, how am I going to block you on StreamYard? You ain't never had come up here before. Nobody's blocked on my StreamYard. You're such a liar. Yeah, she, yo, everybody just say a quick prayer for Alice because I heard that she wasn't doing so good because she got a bad case of diabetes and shit. So if everybody could just take a, let's just take a moment. Lord, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. <laughs> Can we all just take this moment to wish Alice well? Cause uh, suffering from a bad case of lionitis is, it must be really tough. Um, you know? I heard her, her thumbs don't work so good when she starts lying, like, you know, uh, the goofy ass bitch. Alice, Alice, come up here then. Come up here. Click the link, Alice. Click the link, Alice. Fayette, hey, Fayette. For Duncan and Disney. Yeah! Woo! Thank you so much. Lord knows I need my Duncan. My Disney fund is coming along pretty decently, so thank you very much for that, Fayette. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you. So kind. Oh my Lanta. Hey girl. Long time okay, no I went I had to drive like I was 
I live in the middle of nowhere. So now I'm like parked on the side of my house and Jesus Christ on a cracker. I cannot understand why my connection is not working. It's all right. Don't it's, worry about it. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. But yeah, I live out in the middle of nowhere. So it's all good. Don't worry about it. I can definitely hear you now. So that's good. Well, that's good because I'm literally parked at the bottom of my driveway and I text my husband and I said, look, don't let the kids see me because he's on kid patrol right now. Oh, so that I can even do this. Yo, I, I understand what that's like. And I only have one. So, I mean, I get you. So, all right. All right so, where were we? I'm so sorry about that. It's fine. Um, so, I was asking you. Um, I was saying to you that I was going to share your video after. Make sure everyone sees it. But can you briefly tell us how you came across Alice? Yes. Okay. So, I met her around the time the Tati Westbrook stuff started. And I want to say maybe even a little before that. Um, she used to be karma's enabler. And, and by the way, if my truck is too loud, tell me, I'll shut it off. I don't, I don't even uh, hear your truck. Okay, good. So, um, so I met her and she was karma's enabler and she was really nice, right? It was cool. I used to have like a second channel where I did a lot of videos for autistic children and we got along fine. And then there was an incident with Charlotte, which I'm not Please, God, don't think I'm throwing Charlotte under the bus. I swear to God, I'm not. But it's part of the timeline, okay? Oh, okay. So there I was... think I remember this, Ben. If this was from yeah. around the Tati thing. Yeah, I remember. Okay. Yeah, there was an incident with Charlotte where Charlotte finally decided to not like Nat, okay? Right. And I kind of sided with Charlotte there for a minute. Um, not about the Nat stuff, but just in general, you know? And mm -hmm. she um, started being really nasty to me. And I was like, what the fuck? You know, like, oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't cuss on your channel. No, but, no, girls, oh. please. <laughs> okay, well, good. Because you're about to listen. Anybody who knows me knows I cuss a lot. So um, I was like, what the fuck? She started, like, blocking me and then unblocking me. And this started, like, a year and a half ago. And then she started all the sock accounts, right? Mm -hmm. And any time I would block her... I was a public account, right? So she would come back. She would just, just kept fucking coming back and it yeah. never stopped. And Perfect. there were like, there were literally times that I was like, okay, well, how can I like be really nice to this girl and get her to fucking leave me alone? You know? And I would try. What'd you say? You were trying to kill her with kindness. I did. I really did. And, um, even up until I finally blew my lid on my video, um, I really tried. I was friends with Wolf for a long time. We're not friends now, I'm assuming, you know, which is fine, whatever. I won't say anything bad about him because once you're my friend, you're always my friend. Um, not Well, when I say that, I mean I won't go and trash you, right? So uh, for whatever reason, like I was with him through all the stuff that she did to him on her multiple sock accounts. And then now he's like buddied up with her, which is cool, whatever. But um, before all of this fallout happened, I reached out to Wolf and said, hey, how can I fix this, right? Um, I was like, how can I um, make it to where she doesn't do this to me? Because it got to a point where every time I would have a tweet, she would be in my comments talking about shit that had nothing to do with what I was talking about, right? Yeah, like I've she, seen her do that before. She, she'll hop in a thread and talk about stuff that has nothing to do with what the thread is about, right? Right. Well, I would, yeah, I would do a video on a topic because, listen, I've been in this community for four years, okay? Like the anti, quote unquote, KJ community for mm -hmm. four years. I'm not really problematic. So most people are like, oh, who are you? You know? Um, I like to talk about the, the topics. If you look at my channel, I talk about how to resolve shit, not how to start it. Right. And so what she started doing was she would like comment on my stuff and then be like, Oh, well, why don't you talk about this person or this person? And I'm like, dude, I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm not like a call out channel. Right. Like, so if you have an issue that you think I should discuss, then yes, I will discuss it. Cool. That's fine. But I'm not going to call out pork chop or whoever, because you're mad at them, you know? 
And um, so then she got really fucking mad. And then I, I said to Wolf, and I still have all the messages for this, but as most people know, I'm not a screenshot kind of gal, you know. Um, I have them. But uh, I said, look, dude, like, what can I do to get her off my ass, man? She won't leave me alone. And then for like two weeks, we were okay. But then she started running her mouth about me again because she was mad because she thought that a video I did about, and you'll love this, AZ, because you know her. I did a video about Tira Nicole body shaming people. The what? video, I, I tagged D Ash in the video because Tira Nicole had body shamed D Ash, right? And I, so I'm sorry if I sound like crap too, but I've been sick. So, um, so Alice lost her crap. Like she was like, why is this bitch talking to me? Like, well, you guys have all seen it anyway, you know, like she lost it. And I was like, dude, what, what even is today? Right? Like this video had nothing to do with you. And she so insists. Hold on, so, hold on, so hold on. So real quick, Dina. So you made the video about, I call her Ursula, Tyra, whatever. And she was upset with you that you were calling her out for, for fat shaming. Is that correct? Well, Alice does fat shame, but it wasn't about her. It was okay. about Tira. So. Okay. All right. All right. I got you. It was now. like a classic example of projection, right? She was like, oh my God, this is about me. But it wasn't about her because as we all saw in my video, if I'm going to talk about you, you're going to know it. Okay. So what? So all right, so you were talking about Tyra Nicole fat shaming somebody, and Alice rolled up in the comments and was like, and, and was like, why are you talking about me for when you never even said her name? Is that correct? Yeah, exactly, and she and it was all on Twitter. Everyone saw it, and she lost it on me. And then she totally like wiped her Twitter out, right? And then started over again. It's the same account, but what she does is she locks up and like deletes everything. Yeah. That she's well you know you yeah but she pulled she tried to pull that shit on me i said okay whatever i tried to reason with multiple people about this and i was like look if i make a video about you i'll say it's about you right like it wasn't about her but the fact that she's so like hell bent on being upset about fat shaming people. And that's why when I finally snapped and I made that video, which I really regret because you don't know me really well, AZ, but a lot of the community does. And I can't see the chat. So I'm sorry. Um, Cause I feel like if I touch my phone, it's going to like glitch out and act stupid. Well, I understood from your video. I mean, um, well enough to know that like, that's not, it was very unlike you to get upset <laughs> like that. Like I could definitely, sense that you didn't even want to be that upset but you had you had you just had enough right. we, all have, we all have a breaking point like even if you're a good person and you don't stream about stuff like this and and you try to keep it like you know on straight and narrow and try to be positive and try to talk about other stuff like you can only take so much poking from people so i understood that when i watched your stream you were like look I, this isn't me like i can't even believe i have to be this upset like you kept saying sorry and like but you have a right to like be aggravated you know Right. And I appreciate that because I cried about that. I was really upset um, because I had to be that way because I'm always like, even when uh, that list was made, you remember the list? Yeah. I don't know if you saw that, but I did a whole video on that to like make lightheartedness of I it. Did, right. I so, like, did see that. It was funny. Yeah. Yeah. To like, try to be like positive, yeah, but let nice. me tell you something. Um, I'm finding that a lot of the times people think cause I'm nice that I'm fucking stupid and I'm not. And, or they think that I'm like a pushover. Well, listen, there's a reason that I know all the things I know. And it's because I used to be a douchebag. Okay. Like in my young, I'm 44 now. Right. But I used to be a douchebag. So I understand right on all sides of it. And I always try to give everyone the benefit of the doubt. And, um, I, I get along with everyone. I get along with uni rock people, anti Katie joy people. Like I literally get along with everyone. So she has like, for whatever reason, like decided that she just hates me. She tweeted about me today and someone sent it to me. And I was like, dude, just either shit or get off the pot. Right? Like, 
Yeah. If you're going to like act like you're so tough, then be tough. If you're not, then shut the fuck up because that is the side of me. Most people don't see. And I think when I did that video, people were like, Oh my God, Dina's being mean. Well, listen, there's a side of me that will fuck your ass up. And it gets you know? frustrating you know, because, you know, you'll have people tell you to like, oh, just ignore her, like, just ignore her. Like, what people don't understand is you can ignore her all you want. That doesn't mean that her 25 sock accounts are going to, uh, you know, you, you can you can block people all day. But if they have account after account after account and they're just running their mouths, I mean, you really can't escape it. And that's just, that's no, the worst you can't. Part. That's and I was talking to a, yeah, and I was talking to a friend about that recently. And I was like, Twitter has the worst setup for being one of the oldest platforms because even if you block someone, they can still comment. Right. It's not Unless like Instagram get, or Facebook, you know? Unless it's like. If you get off the platform, then their IP can be blocked. Like, I know that Turtle Boy dude I used to um, run with, he got his IP blocked from Twitter. <laughs> so, like, that can be. Well, happen, right. 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 But hard. what I'm saying it's is, hard. like, um, everybody's always like, oh, well, just block them and ignore them. Well, on Twitter, you really can't because even right. if you're blocked, they can like put your name in there and see like replies to your tweets and then attack you. Right. Yep. That's um, the and it's, part of it. Yeah. And it's like, okay, well, what the fuck is the point in that? You know? And honestly, yeah. In the last couple of weeks, have I been involved in some crazy shit? Yes. But anyone who's known me for the years I've been in the community, I've always tried to be such a nice person person it's right. not because i think i'm amazing it's because i know i have been a shitty person in my past and i'm really sick and tired of people like that but what got me with alice and what made me lose my shit was she tweeted that she has autism and me as a mother of three children with autism should know better and that's why i made that video yeah that's and i swear to Yo, flip a desk, okay? Flip a desk. I'm sorry. I know plenty of people with autism. They don't harass, stalk, dox people. So that's no excuse. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I cannot believe that. I can't. Go ahead. Sorry. Just. <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen, I was trying to keep my cool until that. Okay? I can Here's the that. thing you with me. Know. Well, here's the thing with me. And I think that the, like, more people need to understand this. I will always, like, Maybe I'll disagree with you and we might get into a spat or whatever. I always try to resolve it. You know, I'm cool like that. You fucking talk about something like that and try to, to weaponize your autism, quote unquote, against me. Let me tell you something. I have a 23 year old kid with autism and I have two little girls with autism and you will never, ever fucking throw that in my face. You know why? Because I, I said it in my video and I'll say it again. I'm not I'm not fucking scared of her at all. I raise my daughters to be productive, wonderful members of society, whether or not they are disabled. If you follow me on Twitter at all, I am training an entire dog for my daughter who's also physically disabled and has autism. Don't ever weaponize your disability against me because that's the dumbest fucking thing you can do. Because there's right and there's wrong. And autism is not a fucking excuse. Never. And that is why I lost my shit. Because I have committed my life to this for 23 years. I can completely understand why you finally snapped. Like, you of all people, for her to say that to, like, come on, man. Like, that... I don't know. I, I don't want to... Sorry, sorry, Stina. Before I forget, Stina, thank you for your super chat. I... Totally didn't want to blow by that. Hi, I'm sorry. Stina. I can't see the chat, but hi. I can't. You'll have to tell I, me because I can't see anything. I'm so scared to touch my fucking phone, man. Because one of my puppies fucking, uh, well, I, I have like guardian breed dogs. So one of my puppies actually kind of had a go at me the other day and like knocked my whole ass phone in the pool. So it's a mess oh, right no. now. So I, I can't wait like two weeks to get my phone i was i had to text on a white screen where i couldn't even see the keyboard it was so ghetto like wait i'm af i'm afraid if i touch this this fucking thing that it's going to like 
be done, you know? Plus, I've been yeah. sick on top of all that, so I'm just like, Don't oh. let it die. Don't let it die, because when Mayan died and I had to turn it back on to get back in, I, oh my god, that was, don't just, if your phone's already screwy, just don't let it die, because then you'll be up shit's creek even more, in my opinion. So, holy spackle well, says- Well, it's in right now. My husband loaned me his truck, which is really nice, because my truck, it's like an old, big, lifted Dodge. And my husband's truck's like all nice with actual air conditioning. And he's like, oh, go do your live stream with her with this because he's so oh, supportive, you know? Shout out to um, Dina's hubby then. Thank you. <laughs> so, holy yeah, yeah. And I said, I said, well, can I bring my dog with me? And he was like, uh, you're going to put the dog in the truck? I said, yeah. He's like, oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> holy Speckles says, Alice called me fat. It's fair. I'm 215.57, but this woman is not exactly fit herself. So cam up, Alice. Let's go. Yeah, cam up, Alice. Let's go. Alice, Alice called me fat. She called me a grazing cow on Twitter. Somebody what? sent me screenshots. And okay, you know what? You know what the reality is? I am five foot eleven. I'm close to six feet tall. And do not make a song about me, Az. I swear to God. Because yes, I'm also very tall, like another person we know. Okay, but I do deadlifts as a sport and also have a bunch of working protection dogs so don't mess with me okay yeah. but uh, but no she actually did that to me too though in all seriousness she she shamed me too uh she was like uh she said that i was like a cow grazing she did it to shin's panty liner she did it to clarissa and i'm sorry like if you have an argument then give me your argument but if you're gonna come and insult me in the way i look fuck you yeah, it doesn't even sound like you literally did anything to warrant that kind of, like, vitriol. Like, I can't even understand. It's like you got frustrated. You, you tried to be nice to the girl over and over and over again, and she literally left you with no, no choice but to just be like, all right, you're crazy, and then and then she just gets super nasty with you over something that's a hot-button sensitive issue, and you're supposed to be the bad guy? Yeah, no, that's not how this works. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, no, she did a whole fucking tweet somebody sent me, and they were like, and she was like, I'm, I'm reporting this. And I was like, okay, report it. You don't like my video? Shut your fucking mouth. That's how this works. Because here, that. like, every that, Alice. everybody all, everybody knows Dina as being, like, so sweet, right? Well, trust me, there was a time, and I've talked about this on my channel. The whole reason I talk about the topics I do is because I was the one that would beat you like a bitch in a bar, with 20 years ago i'm i'm 44 years old now right. you know so but i still have that in me right but the minute you fuck with my kids or you dare challenge me like that it's fucking yeah it's on it's on as a matter of fact you know earlier today i brought my daughter to cvs because she lost another one of her front teeth and she wanted a robux Aww. card a gift card so we're in there i'm in line trying to pay for her robux you know money card or whatever for her game and oh my god real quick real quick since you said that um my daughters have an addiction to robux cards okay so that is like a thing in our house and yeah, every time i go me. anywhere and they see a freaking robux card i'm like look yeah. you can't just like grab it and then mommy pays for it right like for you have real. to put money on it Seriously, seriously. She's like, I would need to buy these wings for my avatar. I'm like, what? So anyways, we're standing there. Oh, like, yes, yes. Oh, anyway, go ahead. But no, I totally get it because my <laughs> littlest one that's the most disabled, the one that like needs the therapy dog and stuff. Um, she like has a whole like character on robot, like oh, Roblox yeah. or whatever the hell it's called. And it's so beautiful. And she's got like all this crap yep. like on her, hair, on her profile. Can, yeah. she, she had like a... um. Like a weapon, like stick or something. I don't even know. Like, a, oh, a, like an arrow. That's what it was. An arrow. And, and it, oh my god, I was like, she, they take the avatars really seriously in that game, I guess. Uh, so she was happy she got that. So we're in line, and so I'm standing there with my little girl, and some dude, an older guy I used to work with back in the day, walks in. He's like, hey Ashley, what's up? He's like, hey, remember when you beat that girl up outside the gas station because she stole your phone? And my daughter's right there, right? And I'm like, like, nah, I don't remember that. I have no idea who that person was that beat that person up over a phone. Nope, don't know. And I'm like, God oh, damn, like my kid was right here. Like, I, it's, I'm like embarrassed that I used to be like that. You know what I'm saying? Not that I still wouldn't. No, snap. no. And you know what? That's why I have always liked you because you're you're way younger than me, right? But um, I grew up in a different time, right? And uh, 
I learned from my mistakes and I've done a lot of videos on this. Like when I was growing up, like my father is a German immigrant. And, um, so when I was growing up, like my whole life was like the dogs, you know? And, uh, we worked for like for the police departments and we did like all this stuff and everything was always like, go, go, go all the time. And I totally get that you end up. And I also rodeoed too professionally for like 20 years. So wow. it's like you get to a point where you don't take anybody's shit. Right. And when I started my YouTube channel, I always tried to do it to be like a nice person because that was my personal journey. You know what I mean? Like, but then when people are like, Oh, well, you're a bad person. No, I was a bad person. Right. I'm not right. now, but I can also be a bad person again. <laughs> so exactly. there's like that fine line, right? It's like, okay, well, yeah. but, uh, but no, she pushes my buttons constantly, dude. She's been doing it for a really long time. Um, and then, you know, people were like trying to dox her. Right. And I even still commented on Twitter and said, don't try to dox her. That's not right. You know, and when I did my video, people were commenting, oh, I know who that is. I'm like, look, I know who she is because she actually, she actually accidentally doxed herself a really long time ago to me. And, um, and I even told the person in my comments, I was like, no, we don't do that here. Right. Like I know who she is and I will use that to my benefit as far as dealing with her, but never, ever, ever would I dox someone ever. You know what? You, the way I look at it is you don't even need to, even if you did want to, because you know what? She could fuck around, piss off the wrong person one of these days, and they'll do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's bound to happen. When you play dirty, you're bound to get dirty yourself. So, um, Alex, Well, that you know, was the point of my video. I was like, yeah. look, you're going to fuck around and find out. You know, someone and then after gonna, I did the video... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, I'm saying somebody else will, yeah. Well, no, and I was, it was almost like, you know, she's going to fuck around and find out one day. And, you know, she's in Canada. Okay. I lived in Canada in Kitchener, Waterloo, Ontario. And I also was going through Manitoba and stuff when I was like 18 years old until I was like 23 years old. My dad trained dogs for the RCMP. And um, I also worked up there with horses and did all kinds of stuff. Right. And I, and I said in my video, I was like, look, you're going to fuck around and find out one day because people are not nice you know? And then after I did my video, she tweeted out about, she was asking people like relentlessly for my address. She wanted my address and she was saying that, Oh, I, I'm going to serve her paperwork. Okay. So then I tweeted out, I have her blocked, right? But I'm sure she saw it. I tweeted out. I said, cool. You know what? You come to Florida and you can sit right on my fucking porch and we'll talk about this all day long. Come out of here. Come out of here to the Boone even, Docks of Florida and we'll talk about it. She, girl, she won't even click a link. Like, literally. This is this is, this is is the tough girl mentality. Like, this is what I'm saying, Alice. She, she's making up a lie. I have her block. Like, block, what are you talking? You're here. Everybody can see you commenting. Why would I block you from StreamYard? You could just make another way in. There's a, You know that, Alice. And I know you know that. So... You're, you're, you're weak sauce, dude. You're weak, oh, you're she annoying. in here right now? Let her come. Hey, if she'll come up, let her come up because I'll talk to her. Because listen, she was asking for my fucking address. Let me tell you what, sister. <laughs> you can have my address. I will email it to you. And then you can come here and sit your fucking ass on my porch and tell me every problem you have about me because yeah. that is the side of me that most of you guys don't know. I'm not afraid of no motherfucking buddy. Exactly. And I, I have never know, had to deal with this. Yo, Alice, for real. Like, and she's she 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 won't. She's telling people she can't click the link, Dina, because I have bullshit. Her bullshit. She has, she threatened my kids. She said she was going to dox me. So yeah, let her come up and see what she says. Because I guarantee you, this will be a good view for you. Because I am not afraid of anyone, and. I'm a, she needs to understand, okay? I understand the culture in Canada and they're wonderful people or whatever, but it's totally different where I live. So if you're starting to ask for my address, let me tell you what, I'll give it to you. You can gladly come to my house and click sit your link, fucking a. ass down. Click the link, eh? <laughs> yeah, click the link, eh? 
Don't you know about it, boy? Yeah, I, have, like, I lived in Canada for have, many years. I have like a Canadian slash Boston accent. I I say certain words weird. People sometimes randomly in my comments, people will ask me if I'm from Canada because I forget. I think it's about the way I say that. They're like, "Oh, you sound like you said about about about." about. Yeah, that's weird. Well, no, yeah, people I, get on me about that too because I'm I've actually was raised in the deep south, but I lived in Canada for so long that I have like a like I say McDonald's instead of McDonald's. Yeah. But I'm also like I'm from the South, but I, I talk like like a freaking Canadian. It's weird. But um, so all these people in the comments, including Shen, you know, so I many. You, you have to read them to me because I can't see them. So, so many of these people are just like, yeah, she's the problem. And like Shen said a little while ago, the common denominator is Alice. Like if you have a room full it of people, always has been, and yeah, that's what of people and they're all saying you're the one with the problem and you're like not nah, all all uh let's see 218 of you are wrong like no that's not how this works like <laughs> like you're wrong own your well, shit my biggest thing like i said was i would have let her go i've dealt with her for so long there were two factors i'll say it again the first one was when and wolf and i said this in my video and i will say it now i and i can't see the comments so i can't control what happens there right I will never say a bad thing about him. And here's why. Yeah. Why? If Please you were me. ever my friend and I ever supported you, I will never say a bad word about you. Right. That, that That's just like me. Okay. Um, am I disappointed in him? Yes. I am so disappointed in him, but will I say something bad about him? No, but listen, there was a time and you probably know this, AZ. When she was on, I think it was Pink Popsicle 70 mm -hmm. or whatever that account was, where she was calling him the N-word and everything. And I was the one who was there for him through a lot of that. I don't understand why somebody would sign up for that kind of like literal abuse. Like, I don't get it. I, I just don't get it. I, don't I know was his friend through all of that, though. Like, he would switch accounts and then refollow me. Um I tried to go back and like get some of the messages, not to do anything bad to Wolf, but just in case I ever needed them, right? Because of this climate. Because I used oh. to support him so much. And he, that woman was so horrific to him. And he forgave her. And you know what? I give him credit for that. And, it, and me as a white woman, it's not my place to say what is okay and what is not. You know what I mean? So if he forgave her, fine. But at the same time, it's fucked up that I was his friend for a really long time, even when everyone hated him, because that's the kind of person I am, right? And uh, he just um, decided to go run with her and like and, and interact with her and include himself in all of this bullshit. She is going to screw him over, and I will say that here in front of God and everybody. She, that woman is going to screw him over. Oh, facts. And Somebody I will has not a be there. For you. Lucy sure. wants to know why did you befriend her after she was saying that to him? About or what, you, Wolf? Yeah. Because Wolf wanted us to reconcile. Okay. And I have the screenshots uh, of that. And I so tried. Okay. Yes. And I tried to tell Wolf, I was like, look, you know what? I'm so sick of this bitch. Just tell me what I have to do to get her to leave me alone. And, and he Tuesday told me too. Yeah. Yeah. No. And he told me too. He was like, oh, well, you know, I'll talk to her and then you guys can be cool. I was like, okay, cool. That would be great. Because at that point I didn't want to fight. Right. Uh, my grandma had just died. My dog had just died. I did not want to like deal with it, you know? Right. And I said, I said, okay, well, um, okay, I'll be nice to her. And I was nice to her. If you go back on my Twitter, although it's really hard because she has 8,000 fucking sock accounts. Mm -hmm. But if you go back on my Twitter, you'll see that I really started to be kind of nice to her there for a minute. Yeah. The, the turning point with her was, you know, Clarissa, right? I'm assuming the yeah, worm. Yeah, yeah. She had posted a tweet and Clarissa's hand, I guess Clarissa's like a mechanic or something. Right. Um, yeah. it, Whatever she is, she's cool as fuck, right? I love her. Yeah, I like so, Clarissa too. Yeah. So Clarissa had posted like a, a tweet and her hands were like dirty or whatever. What? Fuck it. That's my day every day, you know? And um, Alice said, 
she t- she tweeted and said uh, something like along the lines of I have a screenshot of it, but per uh what did she say? Oh, what guy out here would would take a hand job from this? Okay. Yeah. You remember that? Did you? Yes, I okay. do remember that. I forgot about yes. that. You're right. So then I remembered, my husband reminded me actually, you know, he's not techno, you know, he's not into this stuff, but he was, he like keeps track, you know, he's like, oh, you have a post like that about 10 years ago about your hands when you did like rescue and like all this stuff that you used to do, you know? So I posted a picture of my hands and I said that that was really fucked up because women can actually do things besides be little fucking twats right right and then what happened was that's when that's when the entire fucking thing blew up with alice she lost it and then i made the video about tara nicole and then she lost it because she thought it was about her and there was like a hundred people telling her it's not about you i even tagged somebody else in it and she was like no it's about me like my god this video is definitely about you, Alice, so have a seat. But this this is the second screenshot I showed, in case you missed the first one, of her. Because everybody knows that Nadine is also Alice, too. It's just like a common thing we all know. And there she is uh, calling Steve a cult leader. She called him racist before. But now she's in his culty toolbox. You know what I'm saying? I actually, because of my phone, I can't see what you're sharing. So I'm just oh, okay. listening to the narrative on it. Yeah. So, so I was just kind of showing some stuff here uh, while you were talking about, you know, things she has said about Steve. And now I have something, too, uh, about, you know, Erin. Like, this is what I'm saying here. Like, this is this is the peep. This is who she is. She, get in where you fit in. You know what I'm saying? She'll talk right. about anybody she can. And then as soon as they accept her under one of her socks, she's like, oh, no, I like them. Careful. It's a trap. See, Nadine again. There she was talking about Steve, talking about Erin, but where is she now? Up Steve and Erin's ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is what she does. Like, she's just. No, so that's weird. what she does. And I, I can tell you myself because I've been in the community for four fucking years. And yeah. when, when she first came on scene, she has done that. She was a uni rock fan for a while. She was in his chats. And then she was a Steve McRae fan. And then she was a uni rock fan. And then a Steve KJ, McRae she fan. Was a KJ fan. She tried to help KJ. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, she and then she up. was like all up KJ's ass for a while and there. What, guys, and guess what? Guess who's moderator she is now? Mrs. Roadhog. Of course. Oh, no. She already threatened, she already threatened that on, on Twitter that she's going to have the Roadhogs go after me. Let me tell you what, Izzy. <laughs> You want you want my response to that? I'll give it publicly, and Roadhog him fucking self can hear it. Let me tell you what, that will be the entertainment none of you ever knew you wanted. Okay. You, guys, you see this right here? This is from a phone call I had weeks ago with somebody who actually knows him in real life who went out of their way to come to my channel and leave a comment like please can i talk to you they informed me like yo you think this guy's bad from what we already know there is so much more like and he's he's kept quiet about me from what i understand so i've kind of like let it simmer but let me tell you something if you if you come if you if you if you take alice's side on this shit I, oh I, please do lord of mercy please do because who I would love listen, to girl, like listen, I, I have admired you for so long with the way you handled him. Okay. Let me tell you what, yeah. that will be the funniest entertainment. Any of you never hoped for if he comes after me, that will be the funniest shit. You know why? Cause I've thrown better out of titty bars and I have no fucking hesitation to ream him under the bus. Yeah, he can kiss my fucking ass. I deal with my husband is a general contractor in a construction site. You think I haven't heard it all? I don't give a fuck. Yeah, he's straight garbage. Uh, that- no, he is garbage, and 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 I won't be all petty and get my husband involved or whatever. You know, I'll deal with him my damn self. So when Alice <laughs> threatened that, that and Mrs. Roadhog, good God, you know, I <laughs> I have really tried to like give her some empathy. I've done a couple videos on them. Um, but let me tell you what, I'm not going to argue with somebody who cannot physically argue with me. Right. It's not right. I can't stop laughing thinking of like how that's such a scary threat. Like I'll send the two dumbest people around here at your throat. Yeah. I'm like, dude, do you know me? Like that, that will never fly. It will never fly. And what's he going to do? Like post his little fucking shit on 
on his wall and say he's coming to Florida? Come to Florida. Yeah, he'll he'll hit record and make up a bunch of lies about your daddy and, and the you know, all kinds of racial groups and you, whatever he can throw it against the wall and see if it's Exactly. Good. And I've actually learned from you with him too, because I already know his MO. So he's only gonna say the same what's he gonna say that I like do inappropriate things with my dogs or whatever, you know what I mean? Like he's he's, yo, he's gross. Everything they do is projection. And if he tells you you do inappropriate things with your dog, I can Girl, girl. Well, no, that was the only thing I thought of with him that he could really like say because I have so many dogs, right? So he's so fucking caveman that he would be like, oh, yeah, she probably does whatever. I don't give a fuck. I hope he's watching this right now. I hope he is too because I'm not afraid of him. Roadhog is into that type of thing, though, Dina. You'd be surprised. But anyway, well, he, he can, he can, he can uh, come play with my dogs. And, uh, you know, nah, most people who know me to, know that my dogs, that would be really he funny. Likes, he likes to get the women in his life to mess around with animals, right? Oh, while my God. He, does he really? Because no, I didn't listen, know that. Listen, while he records them so he can later blackmail them with it, okay? Uh, this is facts only, okay? And uh, Listen, I would not say something like that unless I didn't have proof of someone else. <laughs> Listen, oh my god, are you me, serious? No, the girl that told me this stuff, right, literally sent me a photo. <laughs> oh my god. To prove, to prove, to prove, not not of animal shit. I'm sorry. I, I don't want to mislead anybody. Yeah, not I was like about that. to say, like, wait, what? Because <laughs> that's no. like first of all, it's highly illegal. And second of all, um, no, 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 I don't no, have no. a dog on my property that <laughs> would just bite his fucking dick off. No, you but know? he likes to tell the story that, you know, his uh his baby mom is like on drugs and stuff. No, that's not it at all, actually. <laughs> like, he has How did we even mind. get into this conversation? My God. Know. But it's just funny because you were saying like, oh, they're going to send Roadhog. No, I, mean, I, I, like, I don't say no, movie. because that's what I assumed he would say, right? Because if he looked into me, he would see a ton of content on dogs. That's the only reason I said that. Exactly and I also know how he is, right? So he would be like, oh, she's probably just, you know, doing whatever with her dogs, yeah. you know? Because exactly. I've heard it all, right? But, but exactly you know, if he looks at me and goes after me, that'll be funny as fuck. Because, yeah, the, like, that literally would not upset me at all. It would be funny. He's so predictable, dude. Like, I could tell you what he's going to say before he says it. And if he looked you up and then he seen you with animals, he'd be like, oh, she loves animals. Or, like, he's so predictable because he's not, he's another one who's really not that smart. So you could kind of tell, you know, where he's going to go next, which is like straight into a brick fucking wall every time. But, um, anyways. <laughs> yeah, because he's a fucking idiot. Yeah, no, that, that's a fact. Yeah, he's a fucking idiot. I know. And um, I'm not afraid of him at all. But when Alice was like, oh, I'm going to have I'm going to have Mrs. Roadhog go after you and Mr. Roadhog. OK. <laughs> what? Yeah, like literally at this point, it's like, OK, well, what else could you throw at me? Because that's like the least of my worries is those two, because yeah, literally it's like, it's like a fucking episode of like the Three Stooges, basically. Right. It's 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 like fucking stupid. And um. But no, she's been doing this, and even today, she was, like, going nuts, right, on Twitter. Somebody sent me a screenshot, because, again, I have her blog, and um, maybe it wasn't from today, but I got screenshots today where every time somebody body shames someone, she's been trying to, like, tag me and be like, oh, where's Dina Danzig to be a hero and help everyone? Well, you know what? I don't police people. If you do something fucked up, I'll say it. But if I don't know you, why would I do that? It, it, yeah. it makes no fucking sense. Go we'll tell your cult leader or something like, Alice, nobody cares, all right? Nobody cares about you anymore. You're, you're annoying. <laughs> you're literally... And listen, we're talking here with Dina today, right? But it's not just Dina. There are so many people who have stories just like Dina has, right? I'm not even going to be able to talk about all this tonight. That's how much there is, okay? When I tell you I have been sent screenshots, I have been sent stories, like I could sit here for the next seven hours and tell you stuff about Alice. But, you know, we're going to make this a slow burn, Alice. Let it burn, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're going to make you into, like, Is she my in the chat or no? Like, my next extravaganza, if you will, Alice. So, you know, you better stop AZ playing. It. AZ, yeah. is she in the chat? From what I understand, she is. She's up here tell lying. Her to come up. She no, listen. If she has so much to say about me, tell her to come up. Let's she talk about lie. it. 
she says she's blocked when she ain't blocked like she's straight up lying so she she won't she's she's bitch made you know what i'm saying like she'll just that make a sock account and you know come back all big mean like oh you know she'll dog somebody or something because she don't want to own up to anything she did but let me tell you again alice oh i think dina just left us that's weird she was sounding good we could hear everything she was saying too you guys weren't kidding about the socks listen when i tell you this girl had socks hold on where did it go I have a whole list here, a whole list. <laughs> Alice in her 87 account, I know. Let it burn. Yeah, Usher was there. He knows. He knows. Even Usher knows. Everyone knows Alice is a pain in the ass. You know what I'm saying, JoJo? <laughs> uh, Dina's son isn't autistic. She's lying. Shut the front door. Get out of my fucking chat. Why would she make that up? What is wrong with you, Alice? Clearly you're Alice, duh. Because <laughs> you're the only fucking crazy person that would ever say something like that, Alice. So Alice Oh, I guess I missed something. Sorry, I lost you. I know my phone glitched the fuck out. Oh, you know, just Alice up in the chat saying your son ain't autistic because, you know, she's trying to piss everybody off, but just sock She said talk, what? Talk. She said her son ain't autistic. She's lying or some shit. I'm like... About my kid? That's yeah. my fucking problem with her. Let me tell you what. So I'm sorry, Az. So tell me what I can and cannot say because I'm about to wait, rail on, her wait, in the wait, fucking wait. asshole. Yeah. Did you did you take a screenshot of her saying she's threatening by saying she's sending Nat stuff about Dina's kids? Do you guys see how fucking triggered this little bitch is? Okay. She's going to, hold on, Az. Dina, can you hear me? Because I'm about to lose it. Go ahead. Go. You, you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Here. Here we go. No, you fucking bitch. If you're in the chat, you fucking bitch. You went after my kid. You don't get a, you don't get to fucking say whether or not my children have autism because your fucking ass didn't have autism till like 45 sock accounts later, okay? You never fucking talked about autism ever when you were Karma's enabler. This is like a new thing. And let me tell you something else. You don't get to fucking decide what my kids do because you know what? I'm not on the motherfucking internet 95 hours a day. You are. So if you are so concerned about autism and about your kids and everybody else's kids, get the fuck offline and get a fucking life. Because you keep coming for my fucking kids. And I swear to Jesus. You will be sorry. Just for those I'm of you who don't know, she's threatening to send a known child predator photos of Dina's children. All because there's a community of people who are saying enough is enough, okay? That is the person we are dealing with here. That's the level of depravity that this chick operates under. Let like, me you tell you what, and she can report your stream all she wants. AZ, how much can I say? Because I'm about to say something real quick, too. Know. Yo, if someone said that about my kid, I'd go, oh, go, girl, go ahead. I'll, I'll, you can have the You know what, go though, AZ? At least you see her in the chat doing the exact same fucking thing I said she was doing. And now you see it for yourself, okay? Let me tell you something, you fucking bitch. I will drive my big old fucking Chevy truck all the way up to British Columbia. And I will rip the tits off your fucking body. Do not ever talk about my fucking kids again. You do this shit to me all the time. She's a lunatic. You think I'm fucking playing, bitch. Stop. Hey, Alice, you know something? Like, why can't you just be an adult and own your shit? Why do you have to come for children? What the why fuck is Why is she even talking about my fucking kids again? This what is stream was not you? about my fucking kids. Leave my fucking kids alone, because I'm telling you what. I will bring... Oh, my God. Like, I'm. this is my issue, right? But so now, I, I guess people. at least she just fucking proved it. She's fucking nuts, Exactly, man. exactly. Thank you, Alice, for further proving why I'm having this stream to begin with. You literally just showed everyone you asked. What a ass. fucking cunt, dude. Anybody, I'm sorry, hey, AZ. I'm so hey, sorry. Wolf. Hey, Wolf. Hey, Wolf. Why are you friends with somebody who's threatening people's children, Wolf? Why would you be friends with somebody like that, Wolf? Why would you? Just saying. Um, everybody, there is... People have taken screenshots of it. Yes, I see everyone in the chat going, is there a screen? Oh, yeah, they got the screens. Well, they I can't the see the chat, but, dude, I'm fucking pissed. If she's bringing up my fucking kids again, sorry. I will I drive my motherfucking ass up to Canada and punch her in her fucking mouth. That is how much I am done with this bitch. Now, 
She's a little sock account doing sock account troll shit. That's all she knows how to do. No, you know what? Well, she won't be a sock account when I show up there in fucking British Columbia. I know exactly where the fuck she lives, and I know exactly who the fuck she is. I've already reported her, but I'm yep. telling you now, I will go to jail for my kids. I will beat the bricks off that bitch. If she ever fucking makes another tweet, comment, whatever, about my children, yep. they are my entire no, life. I, so. It makes me it makes me happy to know that like if needed we could we we do know who she is and whatnot because anybody that threatens children like that especially with a predator with the likes of uh you know you know who like there's something wrong in your head like yo maybe you know just keep that on the keep that on the backup i'm, I'm sorry i lost it there for a second okay but when you're telling me that she's talking about my kids i'm gonna lose it know, and I'm no sorry. one of my best my best really buddies cool. is an rcmp officer in manitoba i've already put a report out on her but i he also said i could say whatever the fuck i wanted on youtube yeah, it was I like bet. whatever but no, I know exactly who she is. I know her first and last name. I know everything about her, but I'm not a bitch and I don't dox people. But if she's going to continue to fucking run her mouth about my kids, Fuck any of my kids. Out. Fuck around, find out. Alex. Yeah, she's going to fuck around and find out. Because I'm telling you, my husband already said that he would watch the kids for me to drive my ass up there to beat the fucking bricks off of her. And she can take this and be like, oh my God, she threatened me. No, bitch, don't talk about my fucking kids. That is the one thing that you'll see. Oh, so nice, Dina, that talks so nice about everybody. No, fuck around with my kids and find out. You fucking cunt. Sorry, you that, sorry, you that, I, don't, I don't care. I, are you that sad, Alice, that you can't defend yourself woman to woman? You have to bring get your the, little kids. Tell her to get the fuck you up on the fucking panel. Alice, Alice, what the fuck is wrong with you, Alice? Alice, are you okay, bro? Are you falling down the rabbit hole? Like, are you all right? Because there was on, really Alice. Alice. Come up on the fucking panel and talk to me, you fucking bitch. You've been doing this to me for over a year. You People keep fucking with my kids, man. People are sick of your shit, Alice. Hey, Alice, even if somebody did have you blocked on StreamYard, theoretically, because we all know you ain't blocked, you could just make a different username. And I know you know how to do that. So click the link, Alice. Click the I'm link. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Izzy. I'm just, I'm getting mad because these are my kids we're talking no, about. Listen, listen, I know it's like, she's a troll. I shouldn't even have read that. I shouldn't even have fed the troll. No, no, no. It's fine. Like, I want to know because at least you guys now see, because I've had so many people doubt me about Alice. She's a fucking nut, man. She, she goes really after is. my kids all the time. She really is. Yo, we got bail money for Dina. <laughs> Listen, dude, I don't give a fuck. My husband will bail me out, man. I'm a good fucking person, and I have worked really hard to have what I have. Uh, but I'm telling you right now, my ass will stay in prison for my life if that bitch ever fucking talks about my kids again. I will drive my fat ass, as she says, all the way the fuck up to Canada and beat her fucking ass. And I, it is, I'm saying this right now in front of God and everybody on a live stream. That bitch needs to leave my fucking kids alone. You got a Yo, problem with me? Say it the I fucking me, man. Just, I can't believe she just did that. On a stream, I'm having a stream telling everybody what a vile piece of shit you are. And you show up being a vile piece of shit. Thank you very much for that. Literally. You literally just proved my point. <laughs> Thank you. Yo, people uh, want to come. Yeah, exactly. She just proved the whole point that I'm making too. She's a yeah. fucking psycho. She, she really she's obsessed is. with me and my kids. And she has been for over a fucking oh. year. What do you think of this? You know how I like to talk about the culty toolbox and I'm not trying to drag you in anything. I just want your opinion, right? For somebody to have been around this entire time and been on Twitter, do you think it's normal for somebody like Steve McRae, for example, to say things like, um, I, I never seen Alice cause any trouble. Fuck him. I hate Steve McRae. And I will say Alice that loud and proud. I fucking hate him. I have never fucking liked him. I have never had a relationship with him. I've never fucking talked to him. I never fucking liked him. When I go, went into the um, anti Katie Joy community, quote unquote, I liked Katie because she talked about uh, Jilly Juice and shit, right? Like, uh, it was like, uh, years ago, like four years ago, all mm -hmm. of this shit that came into this is like excess, right? But no, anyone at this point who defend, if she truly, I can't see the chat. If she truly came in there and said anything about my kids, 
anyone who supports her at this point can go fuck off. Seriously, seriously. It, it, I don't care how autistic. I don't give a shit, okay? That is a whack-ass cop-out if I ever heard one. There's no excuse for behaving like that. None no, you know why it's not a cop-out, I see? Because... You've been handed. You know why she does it? She's lying. She's fucking lying. I highly doubt she has autism. When she first started harassing me, she never said she had autism. Okay, and I said that earlier in the stream. When she realized my daughters are autistic, she started like trying to love bomb me all the fucking time, right? And then recently, she tried to fucking say, "Oh well, you know if." What kind of mother are you of autistic daughters to treat me this way? Fuck you. My kids, my daughters, yes, they have autism. My youngest daughter is very also physically disabled. She would never grow up to be a fucking twat. Like Alice. Ever. Alice, my daughters given, are good kids. You've been given the floor to Alice and you've made every excuse of why you can't defend yourself, but yet you'll throw little kids into the mix. You're a disturbed individual. Get well soon. Get your ass out the rabbit hole. Stop drinking the freaking, you know, drink the potions with your lead, uh, lead drinking ass because you are not normal, Alice. And You're just really so not. she knows, my husband is listening to the stream too. He just, he's so like not techno, you know, like in, in the like technology. He's like, he has no idea what to do. But no, he's listening to this shit too. So, that bitch, um, he, he can probably see the chat, too. No, fuck you, you fucking bitch. I said it in my video, and I thought we were done, and you continued to fucking talk about me, and I would have left you alone. Talk about my kids again and see what fucking happens. Don't think that I don't have the fucking means to drive my fucking ass to British Columbia <laughs> and find your ass. This is so sad. Like, I uh, Shen's just going to send you the screenshot. Um, she just, did, but I'm afraid to touch it because I think my phone will fuck up. Because my phone's all... Yeah, if you hear that noise, that's Shen's sending yeah. me stuff. But no, I believe you guys. I just can't see the chat. But no, dude, don't ever... If you want to tell me I'm a fucking cunt motherfucker, do it. I don't care. Don't listen, ever bring up my fucking kids. If, if photos or threats or whatever do end up popping up, we all know who did it because there's um, over 200 of you in this chat tonight who saw that, who knows, so hey, you know what? CP is a real dangerous thing, and you know what else? Oh, this is how dumb this bitch is, too. Let me tell you something. She started talking to Nat because she felt bad for her. I'm sorry. We're all oh, I know she did. Yeah, we yeah I know she did. People who do shit like that, but somebody like Alice, who's just hungry for any little bit of camaraderie, I'm sure from a fellow crazy, you know, it probably felt really good, didn't it? But guess what? That fellow crazy you fuck around with is a disturbed individual. You're about to get yourself locked up if you keep sliding her DM. I don't know why anybody would feel bad for somebody in that situation. Unless you're just well, like I hope that. I don't sound like a total psycho right now, but this, this is my kids we're talking about. Girl, you I, know, believe, um, I, I know, listen, I, I, <laughs> girl, I know. I had someone on Twitter trying to mess with me with that stuff, and I, I, I was like, uh-uh, uh-uh. You know what I mean? Listen, it, it, no, listen, she don't fucking know. I know Canada. I live there. She don't fucking know what it's like down here in the South, okay? She can fuck around and find out. If she wants she, my address so bad, I'll fucking give it to her. She can drive her fat little fucking ass down here, and she can fucking say it to my face. I am done with that bitch. Know. She, she has been harassing me for over a year. And now, finally, at least, the good thing is she fucking proved it. She's fucking nuts. But you really fuck with my it. little girls, man, or my son, it's, it's game on at that point. I've spent a lot of time on the internet, and I don't think I've ever, ever come across somebody quite like this. I've never known anybody to have this many sock accounts, to create this many personas, to, to make accounts just to talk to themselves and stick up for themselves, being somebody else. Like, I don't think I've ever seen any shit like this. Like, other than, you know, the, uh, the freaking unicorn girl. Like, I mean, uh, th these people are cooked, dude. They're fucking cooked. Now, I don't care what your mental ailment is. I don't care if you've got 95 fucking personality disorder. Whatever it is, you do not need to bring children into it. You don't need to be a disgusting individual. And you damn sure don't need 85 soft accounts. Why don't you just be who you are? You know why you can't be who you are? Because you're so self-hating that you need to pretend to be other people. Literally. You're pathetic, Alice. Get it together. 
or get lost. Preferably get lost, please and thanks. Please and thanks. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Dina, that um, I, I understand you're, you're angry and... <sighs> yeah, you're right. Creep Shalot did do that. Oh, no, Melon, you're right. That that's weird energy, man. It's weird energy. It really makes me. I spend a I spend a lot of time, more than I like to admit, wondering why people do the things they do, right? And sometimes there is no good answer, and I have to remind myself that time and time again. Like sometimes we will never be able to figure out why people do some of the shit they do, right? Right, Ono Melon, you know. Um, Molly, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate that very much. Welcome, welcome. I made new membership badges too, guys. I don't know if you notice, but I have, um, I'm on stream yet, so I can't see, but I made amethyst and I made sapphires. So y'all are some gems, okay? Shine bright like a diamond. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, Dina, you there? <laughs> I think Dina left. I, I feel bad. I shouldn't have. Never feed the trolls. I don't know why I told her that. I, bad idea. Dina, I think Dina left us to go hop in the whip, fuel up and drive to Canada, y'all. I'm pretty sure she's on her way. Allergy bell lock the doors, Alice. <laughs> hey, Matrix, what's going on? Oh, you can't expire, girl. That happens to me all the time. Molly, don't worry about it. Damn expiration dates. <laughs> I don't. I. I just. Hey, let me make it. They're making a stream about me saying I'm crazy. Let me show up and be crazy. <laughs> yes, it's a shady, shady palm tree. Hey. Ready for this? Guys, guys. Alice, of all the things that you could be, why the fuck are you a shady, shady palm tree? Of all the things that you could be, why be a shady, shady palm tree, Alice? Why? Why? Look, you got Leon over here. Leon, I don't know, all right? I don't know. I don't know why people do what they do. I don't know. Uh, Leon, I'm glad you're here, Leon. You know why? Because this girl is so far gone, right? Just, she's gone, though. I think I need you. I think I need your help, Leon. Leon, I need your help. Can you please, please, with your big head. Can you move your big head, Leon? Thank you. Can you please just take her away? Yo, Leon, fire up the craft. You, my friend, are fucking light years away. Okay, Alice? I don't know where Wonderland is, but it's definitely light years away. Leon's gonna come take your, take your ass even more light years away. And you know something? Let me tell you something, Alice, okay? I really don't appreciate this shit because the price of gas right now, you see, is really um, not that great. So can you please act right for a second, Alice? Because, you know. Fuel's expensive at the moment. And, we, you know, Leon's working on some propulsion or whatever. I don't know what it is. I don't know about the science stuff. Leon handles that. But, like, if we have to go bring you even further away next time, I'd be really upset about it, okay? Hi, Dina. You back? Yeah, hold on. Give me a second. Hold on. Oh, I know. You really do have a big noggin, Leon. <laughs> I was, like, trying to get around it all backwards. <laughs> Leave it to me to go to the wrong side, right? Yeah, get in, get in, for real. Just late years away. Oh, she left. I don't know <laughs> what's going on with Dina, but I feel mad because she's really mad. She's really mad. No, oh, that background's lit, right? That blue background? Oh, shoot, kids. I'm going to leave that one there. Anyways, you guys, listen. There are, like I said earlier, there's so much more to this story. There are more people who's been affected. There are more stories that I still haven't even told, but... uh we need to talk about this again soon, okay, guys? Like, literally. And now that I'm back, and now that I have my phone, and now that, you know, I'm not busy, and I finished all my real-life work, I'll be able to do that. So, like I said, this is the next extravaganza. Uh, I think next time I will show more screenshots about the little games she has played and the things she has said. And at this point, especially Wolf, like, why would you want to be friends with somebody who does shit like that? Like, what the fuck? Like, why would you... Like, I know, listen, I know that, like, you have to sit at the, uh, the, uh, the liars table and shit in, like, the Misfits Club, whatever, but, like, you need to find new friends or some shit. If, if this is what your, if your friends do stuff like this, you should get new friends, you know, just saying, okay? 
And Alice, you can talk about my hair all you want, girl, okay? Mm. You ain't never got no link. You won't even click a link, okay? So get back to me when you click a link. When you could find one of your little socky socks to uh, click the link. But until then, I think I'm going to run. I think that, you know what? Tomorrow night, I think around 10 o'clock, I think I'm going to come live and do part two. You guys going to come hang out with me tomorrow? Hey, Rose. What's up, Rose? Thank you for the super sticker, Rose. Thank you. And if you're here and you're going to watch the replay, you showed up late. Girl, we're just talking about the crazy as usual, you know? Um, yeah, I've missed you guys. Thanks for coming by. I really am so happy to see all of you here. To my moderators, yo, my moderators are lit. I'm so thankful for you guys. Like, I would never be able to do this without you guys. <laughs> like, ever. <laughs> ever. Glad to see all you here. Oh, Sue Elliott. <clears throat> I was just thinking of you, Sue Elliott, because I looked over and I saw my nice keychain right next to me, Sue Elliott. Sue Elliott's got some lit keychains and she makes hair bows and beautiful cups, all kinds of goodies. I have to link her store again. But yeah, we're gonna hang out tomorrow at 10 p.m. Okay, guys. So thank you, thank you. Some story time. All right, squig work. We'll do that too. Okay. All right, guys. I'm gonna run, but thanks for showing up. I'll tell Dina y'all said bye because you know she's gone though. She's probably on her way to Canada. Hey. <laughs> Alice is hiding right now. Oh, shoot. She's she going to go on Twitter tonight with her lionitis. Her lionitis ass. <laughs> Alice, are you mad, though? <laughs> Alice, you know who you can call? You know who you can tell your problems to? This guy right here. <laughs> so, when it comes down to it, fuck her. Fuck her real bad, man. <sighs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow night, 10 o'clock. Thanks for showing up.